To explain how corticosteroids increase red blood cells and hemoglobin, we have to know that hemoglobin contained in red blood cells. So basically, unless person have some issues with hemoglobin production, the level of hemoglobin correlates with the amount of red blood cells. The amount of red blood cells in the blood is determined by the rate of red blood cells production in the bone marrow and the rate of red blood cells destruction in the peripheral circulation. Red blood cells destruction occurs primarily in the spleen and liver, where macrophages by phagocytosis remove old erythrocytes from the circulation. This process called erythrophagocytosis. The major factor that stimulates red blood cells production is erythropoietin, that is secreted by the kidney. Erythropoietin stimulates differentiation of the common myeloid progenitor cell into the proerythroblast. Thereby, erythropoietin stimulates the production of proerythroblast cells from which mature erythrocytes are formed, and by this erythropoietin increases red blood cells level in the circulation. Corticosteroids stimulate expression of multiple genes in myeloid progenitor cells, and by this they potentiate the effect of erythropoietin on myeloid progenitor cell. This results in a more potent erythropoietin effect. So by this corticosteroids stimulate differentiation of myeloid progenitor cell into erythroid cell. And in addition to this, corticosteroids force erythroid cells to divide a few more times. So these two effects combined cause increase in red blood cells production. And also, corticosteroids inhibit erythrophagocytosis in the spleen and in the liver, thereby they decrease red blood cells destruction. And together, increase in red blood cells production and decrease in red blood cells destruction cause significant increase in red blood cells and hemoglobin level. So corticosteroids increase red blood cells and hemoglobin level by immune mechanism through decreasing erythropagocytosis and by augmentation of erythropoietin effect. Because of synergism between erythropoietin and glucocorticoids, when glucocorticoids are prescribed for a patient already on erythropoietin, they should be closely monitored for the development of erythrocytosis. And in case of anemia refractory to erythropoietin, the prescription of additional glucocorticoids should be considered. If you like content, please press like and subscribe button. All the best!